Well, I was fascinated by the length of time that has passed so that it wouldn't necessarily be an addendum to number two, or I felt very much that I had worked a very complete character arc in the first two films from a nobody to a warrior woman. So I didn't feel that I had that much more to say or show, and I didn't want to just keep doing them without the ability to add something to the character arc. And 27 years later, it seemed that there would be a whole world and a whole history that's happened to her since then. And, and I was ready to just explore that. Suddenly, there's a young girl and and a protector from the future, much like Kyle Reese was my protector, and to try to parse that out and figure out who's on whose side, whose version of the future. Um, and basically, Sarah Connor is a woman now that does not deal with people very well, any people at all, ever. So, um, She's out of her element again, dealing with a human story. You know, not something that she wants to do at all, deal with a human story. Technology has gone farther. So Ia has a stronger skill set, um, sort of almost anything that you can imagine. He can throw at you, come at you, you know what I mean, fling at you. So um, obviously the technology just keeps getting better and better, which makes the Terminators harder to kill. I'm very happy to share the spotlight. Certainly, you know, without a doubt will be compared to myself 27 years ago and I could use a little backup, <laughs> make me look a little, <laughs> a little, um, you know, they make me look better every day. They are astounding women. Mac Mackenzie is going to get the attention for how she's transformed her body, and I've watched that transformation. Um, and it's wonderful to see what she's done and the strength that she's discovered. Um, Natalia, she's got it like 150%. She's the most fluid actress I have ever worked with, and I mean ever worked with. She's just got the most amazing instincts, and they're both just fiercely intelligent, compassionate, talented, generous, wonderful, beautiful women. They're my dream team. I don't think in terms of like how iconic this is, how it's an iconic repartnering, I just don't think like that. Other people do, you know, when they see us. But I was just happy to see him. I actually didn't know how happy I was gonna be to see him until he showed up on set and I just, I'm so happy to be with Arnold again. I kinda wanna hug him all the time. I don't know what that's about, but I just, um, I'm glad to be with Arnold. And the shared sense of history and the things that being back to gather with him bring to mind, you know, the, the long history that we've had that goes beyond just the films that we've done, but just the moments that we've shared. And um, I celebrate those and embrace the opportunity to continue it. On a scale brought into the future 27 years later, which means it's 10 times as much action. Or the action is 10 times bigger. You know, maybe not much longer in terms of percentage of film time, but it's just so huge. It's like we're, we're falling out of a what into a what, and then what? I mean, I was white, apparently, when I finished reading that script. And I turned to my best friend and said, I have to get my affairs in order. <laughs> I won't be coming back. I mean, it was, it's like, what? 
I mean, I've never done anything even close to this huge. T2 might have been this in its day, but all these years later, it's like, holy crap. It's huge. Women power is mighty in this film. And three very different women, you know, not cut from the same cloth. I mean, just utterly different women that, I mean, God bless Tim Miller for, for putting these three actresses together because we are just so utterly different from each other. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys, Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey, you guys!